Well, we had a four-hour session on the, on the key trends for the future and what uh, government officials and regulators and, and industry people have to know about what's coming by 2020. And uh, we went through all of the things like big data, artificial intelligence, robotics, uh, data security, and all the trends. And of course, we, we saw some demos. And it was very exciting for me, myself, after four hours, I feel like I've seen the future and it, my, my brain hurts. Uh, and now we have to talk about how we get there and what we do. And uh, we had some great debates and lots of interest, and I feel quite positive. I think uh, in the end, the one element that stood out is still that uh, many developing countries, we still need to first connect people so that they can actually participate in this world, and that is still crucial. But nevertheless, my point is that uh, we can't wait to address those issues once they are connected. Uh, we can't wait until that, we have to do it beforehand. And I think the second one was that everybody feels like the uh, technology is becoming so exponentially powerful that we now need to think, think about what it does and why it does it and what part of it we want. Well, I mean, it's, it's quite obvious that we're looking at machine learning and what machines can understand, that, that is a key trend. We're looking at everything becoming mobile and visual, you know, video, text, mobile devices. Uh, the connectivity like water, basically in 2020, 70% of the global population connected. So the internet becomes like air. Uh, and we're looking at key trends like uh, the fact that developing countries are booming and they bringing up the middle class. That's really going to change things on a global level. Uh, collaboration is increasing, uh, interdependence of business models. So it's not just technology, but also the social changes uh, resulting from technology. Well, I think it's very important for people to get together and look outside of their own comfort zone. And this is kind of what could do it or is, has done it, I hope. Um, and it's very important to also say, OK, we need to go beyond the business as usual, you know, the, the discussion about all the things that we've done in the past already. Uh, and, you know, there has to be a space where you can experiment and go outside of your comfort zone and, and look at something that's not immediately, you know, everyday business. And this is really what this event can do, I think.